Hello everyone, welcome back to another Slovak video. This one is a little bit special. Today I'm going to be showing you how to type Slovak on a computer keyboard. It's going to be very simple, you will not have to change anything about your setup whatsoever. The only thing you are going to have to do is enable Slovak typing, whether that be uh, in Linux or Mac, it should be pretty similar. But in Windows, all you have to do is open up your settings. Sorry, these are in Slovak and navigate to language. You can do this by just hitting the Windows key and typing language. In Windows 10 at least, that is. Otherwise, you have to navigate to the control panel. And then in preferred languages, just click add preferred language and write Slovak. If you have it on top, it will set your entire system into Slovak, so make sure it isn't, all right? Once you've got that set up, you can bring up a nice interactive keyboard onto the screen by pressing Windows Control O. So you'll notice that the main keyboard layout is the same. We have all the alphabet keys in their correct place. One thing you'll notice though is I have the Y key on top. Traditionally Slovak keyboards have the Z key on top, but I use a QWERTY keyboard. Another thing you'll notice is that the numbers aren't on the top row. The top row aren't numbers, instead they're special characters. These special characters are such as semicolon, plus, and all of the diacritical letters. Not all of them. A notable exception is Y. You'll have to type Y manually. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on. So forget these for now. These make your typing quite a lot faster when you can use them. However, there is another trick that you can use to type Slovak super easily. And that is this key to the left of the backspace key. This is the length and a mark key. This will add the length and a mark to any letter you want. Similarly, if you press shift, that's going to turn to the softener mark, which will add the softener mark to any letter you want. So let's look at that. I found a really nice web page online, which has the Slovak keyboard on screen while also showing what I'm typing, which is uh, pretty useful. So let's write a sample word. Let's say Jakuem. So the way you write that is before writing the letter that you want to apply the mark to, you select the mark. So for example, Jakuem starts with J. So that is a softened D. So we press Shift, then we click the softener mark key, and then we press J. I'm having issues with this web page uh, where it won't let me type J, which is very weird. But uh, we press it manually like this. You select the softener mark, and then you press the letter that you want. So D in our case, and it will come out as D. Similarly, if you want a capital letter, all you have to do is soften a mark, and then the capital letter. There we go. Pops right out. And then just finish the word as normal. Now let's say you want to write, my name is. So we've already learned that, so we're going to go vol, and now you can just press the length and a mark key, and then press the A key, and that's it. There's really not much trouble there. It's quite quick. Of course, once you know the keyboard layout, you can just write it using the 8 key, right? And that will be faster. However, I want you to focus just on the one key here one key right here, which will allow you to write all these markers wherever you want them. You might be asking, how do I write the other letters? How do I write these two guys? Well, those have special keys and you should memorize these. O is to the right of L, and A is right next to the enter key here. So yeah, this uh, online keyboard I wanted to use just because of the nice highlighting here, which allows me to show you guys how to uh, write these, but that was a very quick overview of how to write Slovak. This one key will help you memorize writing Slovak. It's super easy. You just press it whenever you want to modify a character. So yeah, you want the long vowels, just press the key, then press the vowel. Easy as that. You want to soften thing, shift, press the key, and go off. Now I do invite you to explore the Slovak keyboard through this on-screen keyboard, which is provided by Windows. I do believe Linux and Mac also should have these keyboards, but you will have to do a little bit of searching for them. 
It's very, very simple to memorize a Slovak keyboard, mainly because you don't need to use almost any of these other special keys that you would have to use in normal languages. You only have this one single key. So that was the short video about how to type Slovak. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it convenient. I just wanted to let you guys know how you can practice writing Slovak on the keyboard because it's really, really simple. This one key is all you need to be able to type pretty much anything in Slovak. The letters that you can't find, well, the on-screen keyboard will help you find them in a jiffy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.